Hey guys and welcome to another video of <coughs> Fusion 360. Uh, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how you guys can create this uh, beautiful elbow mechanism which is used to transmit power between two intersecting shafts. So we will design each and every part and we will then uh, try to assemble this uh, elbow mechanism and it will be uh, fully working. So this is how it will work after the complete assembly is complete. Once the, uh, let me just show you the animation. Uh, if I just click on animate model, you just <coughs> yeah. So here it is. This is how it will work once the assembly will get completed. So let's get started without wasting any time. Switch to a new plane and go to any plane you want and start by making a inverted L uh, like this and then go to your viscous dimension tool and uh, make this length as 34 mm yeah 34 mm and also make this length 34 mm now go to the fillet tool and make a fillet of 5 mm and press enter now what you have to do is go to create select the pipe tool and select this sketch now uh, make the section size as 4 and click on new component and press ok now go to circle and click on this surface and draw a circle of 6 mm and click on extrude tool and extrude this to uh, minus uh, minus 22 yeah minus 22 and click on join now repeat the same procedure on this phase also draw a circle of 6 mm and then uh, just extrude it to minus 22 yeah so uh, once this uh, uh, part is completed name this part as piston and we have we we need a total three number of pistons so just right click on this copy and then just uh, simply click on paste uh, just move the component here and press enter again repeat the same step click on paste move the a little bit side and press ok now we don't need this pistons right now so go to sketch click on isometric view go to sketch and click on this so here again draw a circle at 30 mm diameter and then just extrude it to 12 mm and just click on new component and press ok again click on circle choose this plane uh, draw a circle of 28 mm and extrude this circle to a distance of 18 mm and press ok now uh, click on this space and create a sketch on this now what you have to do is draw a circle in the middle of this of a diameter 6 mm and draw another just on the vertical line above it of a diameter again 6 mm now go to sketch dimension tool and click the center point of both the circles and make the distance between them as 8 mm now click on extrude click both these entities and just extrude cut through all once now go to create go to pattern circular pattern click on this face and click on uh, the axis selection and make the quantity 3 and press ok so now the cylinder is completed so ex so basically we need uh, three of them uh, two of them so just rename it as cylinder and just make a copy of it by simply control c or control v 
and press new this not working i think yeah so here it is the two cylinders are ready just hide them for now and go to isometric view now again go to uh, the side view side plane and capture the position make sure you draw all these sketch from origin with respect to origin so make a circle of 28 mm diameter and again draw a circle of 40 mm diameter click the line tool and draw a line of 40 mm and from here draw a line of uh, 30 mm now uh, join uh, again uh, draw a line of 30 mm and from here make sure I uh, join a line between this circle and this uh, now the next step is uh, uh, go to the uh, mirror command and select this entity and this entity and go to mirror line and select this line to make a mirror of these two lines and press ok now once the profile is completed go to extrude and select these entities and make a extrude of uh, uh, minus 10 ml make a extrude of minus 10 ml and click on new component and press ok so now the next step is go to isometric view and click on the sketch and choose the front plane now uh, draw a line uh, yeah draw a circle horizontal to the origin somewhere here with same 28 and again draw a circle of 40 mm diameter uh, go to sketch dimension tool go to sketch dimension tool choose the center point of the circle and the origin and just make the distance between them as 31 and then and press enter now again draw a line just vertical to the midpoint of the circle of 40 mm and again uh, from here draw a line of 30 mm perpendicular to the line just drawn and press enter now again just like before we have did uh, join these line uh, so that it could it can be a tangent to the circle again go to sketch uh, go to mirror select these two entities and select this as the mirror line and press enter now uh, choose the extrude command select this this and this and go to start and click on offset plane so make a offset of uh, uh, minus 36 minus 36 and a distance and extruded distance of minus uh, minus 10 mm and click on new component yeah. um, make sure that every reading is correct and press ok <coughs> now the next step we have to do is uh, go to uh, base of any sketch and just click on this and go to rectangle create a rectangle which will act as the base for this assembly and click on stop a sketch go to isometric view click on extrude and just extrude it and make sure it is joined with the you know the this is and this okay now once it is joined make sure that you combine these two entities just combine this and this and create a new component now we don't need these two so it's a 
in component <clears throat> now uh, we need to start the assembly procedure so just unhide the, all the components so let's start with the SM by aligning these piston on these two locations so just click on the join capture the position and just select this circle and the, this circle uh, make sure that it flips the direction um, that time motion type will be uh, the revolute again click on join and repeat the same step with this also let me just click this and again just flip the direction and press ok now uh, you uh, to allow the cylinders to move on their axis make sure that the last component we have created is grounded and capture the position once they are grounded you can just rotate all these circles now uh, we have to align the piston accordingly so that it can form a motion between them so just click on the joint and capture position uh, click on this uh, piston and choose any hole you want I will choose this okay there's something wrong yeah choose the midpoint of this hole and make sure that first of all flip the direction and make sure the uh, types of motion should be cylinder so that it can move and rotate across the same axis like this and press ok now uh, repeat the same step same procedure with the rest of the piston also with the uh, corresponding holes like that and press ok now again repeat the same step with the third piston also and press ok now once uh, you have joined all your assemblies so make sure our uh, next step is to connect all these uh, with the respective holes on other um, cylinder so just click on this make sure our uh, caption position and repeat all these steps just select this piston and select this hole and the, uh, flip the direction and make sure the motion is the cylinder z axis is z axis and press ok now uh, the next step is to yeah um, click select this cylinder and select this hole uh, flip the direction just like before we have did and press ok now uh, again go to join select this cylinder and this hole and there is no need to flip the direction this time and press ok so now uh, as we see that all the piston have been joined on their respective position now if we just try to rotate this it will rotate accordingly so uh, the main assembly has been completed just hide the join so the next step is to uh, create a flywheel so create a sketch on this face uh, the center of the part and make a, a circle of 57 mm diameter and let's just click on extrude and select all these circles and extrude it to 10 mm and click on join now again select and sketch on this go to sketch go to slot go to center slot and create a slot from here to here like this yeah now, now go to extrude click on this and extrude it to minus 10 mm and go to create, go to mirror, go to circular pattern, go to features and just select the last extruded and when it access as this. So I guess two will be okay this time and press.
this okay so this is the assembly of this elbow mechanism uh, you can do the folder detailing on yourself so that it can be can look uh, more realistic uh, and you can apply any appearance according to your desire so if you want to uh, do more detailing just like I did uh, just give the base as wooden pattern and you can just extrude some holes so that it looks a little bit more beautiful and just a micro fillet on every edges so hope you guys will like this video do comment any queries thank you and have a nice day